Well, hello tiny house land. Guess what decided to come out today? Look at that, huh? We haven't had sunshine here in about, I don't know, about a week, week and a half or so. Um, you can tell I'm squinting my eyes a little bit. My dog's having fun. She's enjoying the outside. Well, what she's doing is she's enjoying the, not enjoying the attack of the fleas. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. But I wanted to hook up with you guys today and let you know what I'm up to. Um, I've got all the boards that I bought. I, I haven't bought them all yet for the siding, but the ones that I do have, I've got stained now. I'll go ahead and take a look at them. They're all out here. Um, I don't know how well the lighting's going to do, but they look really good. I'm going to hang them with just this coat on them, and then any light spots or anything like that I'll go over again once they're hung on the wall with some more stuff and then when I'm done with the complete house I'll put some uh, some completely transparent stuff on them to give it some kind of a sheen. I'll probably go flat um, for the outside anyway. Um, so today we're gonna fill this hole um, the, uh, my bed's going right here. I'm going to have a little bedroom tip out. I'm going to build it so it can be pushed in and the trailer can be moved. But I really don't expect that my tiny house is actually going to move from this spot at any point ever in the future. Um, it'll probably remain here um, until I'm an old, old man. So, but... Um, after I'm gone or if I sell it or something of that happens of that nature happens I want to make sure that it can still drive down the road so I'm gonna have to make it so it can go in there um, now that I think about it I guess I'm gonna have to go and buy some screws today I wanted to buy some you know nice thick metal uh, bolt screws you know the big old metal bolt on it so I can attach it uh, on the inside with those and then if somebody ever wants to uh, make it so it can go down the road they can take those bolts out and it'll uh, and here, it'll sink in there kind of dirty lens there um, so that's what I'm going to do today I'll hook up the time lapse and and I'll get that all worked out. I guess I need to go to the store and buy those uh, bolts though before I really get too far because I'm gonna need them. So um, I guess I'll do that first and then I'll come back, I'll hook up the time delay and we will get started for the day. Um, I never did glue in the window from the other day. Um, it's still sitting there with just some nails holding it in. Um, but I'll probably end up gluing that in today. Um, you guys saw the big spaces on both sides of the window there. Um, I've still got those long windows, if you remember from my showing my windows videos. I might put those on both, one on each side. I haven't made up my mind. See, I've, I've got two of those right there. And I might put one on either side of this little closet thing. I haven't really made up my mind yet. Um, I'm probably not going to have any windows at all on this wall because I'll have you know my bedroom tip out right here which probably won't have its own window and then if I do put a put a window in it'll be one of those windows and it'll probably be right here next to the tip out but I don't really have a reason to put a window on this side so I might not. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. I haven't got that far. But um, I've got one thing I had to buy before I could put my siding up was a bunch of these little guys um, to go over like where I like where I like right here where I just cut this part out here. 
I need to put this piece of metal on here like so I'll probably put two of them on there so no nails will go through that um, anybody working behind me will never stab a nail into that and then I'll do it on the other sides too where they go through the where the holes were drilled and stuff I'll put one of these plates over the 2x4 and that will help those from getting stabbed it's something that everyone should do when they're building anything with electrical they should make sure to put those safety clinkers in there um, see I got my door handles installed and it works good um, I might have tweaked it a little bit it's really still not square completely yet but we're getting there and hopefully in a couple of more weeks I'll have enough to get more of the siding and then I can start siding the other the other walls um, the siding that I've already done I'm gonna be using on the on the tip out because the tip out actually sticks in it's gonna stick in about you know this far on the inside and then it'll be coming out this way four feet and that's how big that's gonna be but it'll be stuck in here just just a hair too because of the wheel well so I guess I'll be building the wheel well part first and then the bed platform I'll insulate that all together and then uh, its legs and ceiling will go in after that I'm probably gonna pre attach the 2x6 on the inside I'm probably gonna screw it in here and then attach my ceiling rafters to it as I'm building it so I'm gonna be building it as if it's locked in the out position and then I just hope that it'll be halfway easy to push in if I ever sell it and if not if it's not easy then you can always you know tear the siding off one side or something to make it work but we will definitely get her going um, I know long video today I'm just kind of being a uh, kind of rattling off today but you know I don't know I think that would look good with the two tall windows on either side it sure certainly would open up the sunshine it would send a lot more sunshine inside and then I've got the two on that side there'll be nothing at the end um, see where that gap is in there that's gonna be uh, a little back door it'll be mostly for the dog but uh, I might put a little window in it just a little you know a little you know move the board so I can look see who's out there or if the dogs asking to come in or something without opening the door and I still got to put those ceiling two by fours across I got two on this side one on the other side and it's same thing at the end I need to do that too so um, I don't know how much of these things I'll get done today but that's the goal all right well, there's my doggy down there chewing and uh, I got my solar panels just laying on the ground here they're only 45 watts um, 15 each it's just a little little sample thing that I got from uh, uh, I can't remember what they're called now uh, uh, it's a big online company I can't remember what their name is now but it was only 85 bucks for that and a little and the little box for it and stuff it doesn't really charge battery up enough to run lights during the day or anything but if you want to read at night or just have a light to see what you're doing real quick or something like that it'll charge battery up well enough for that I'm actually gonna have this set up on the tiny house um, it'll sit in front of it um, something else that I might install is another project that I made it's almost three years ago now that I made this um, but it still works it could probably use a little bit of a paint job because the blacks kind of wore off of it but this is a solar heater made out of pop cans um, if anyone's interested on uh, seeing the build videos for that just let me know or look in my videos I'm pretty sure it's the same account you should be able to find it on there 
If not, just send me a message and I will link you to the videos how I made this. But this thing will produce um, the tests that I did on it in the open sun. It was almost 50 degrees outside and it produced heat over 100 degrees out of it uh, with a small fan running on it. So, you know, in the end, it'll save you money if it's the winter time and, you, and it's a sunny day but it's still cold outside you can still utilize that heat to get your stuff going um, a little update on my garden uh, my carrots are my baby carrots are starting to grow in you can see them those are my baby carrots there they're growing starting to grow in I got some on the other side of the potato too but they're really not growing in yet I kind of buried them a little deeper so they're going to take an extra week or so to grow um, before they pop out. But that's cool because that means it'll take an extra week to harvest. And I put some flowers in there. Um, I added a lot of flowers this year because I want to help with the bees. There's a bunch of flowers in here too. A bunch of flowers in here. I've got the whole thing lined with flowers. So I'm definitely going to not have a problem with pollinization this year. Um, even my onions have flowers on them. They haven't opened up yet, but when they do, I'll let everybody know because they're really pretty, I think. And, uh, and these are also flowers. If you guys watched my Hawk's Tiny Garden video, um, you could see the progress that these have made in the last couple of weeks. Ah, silly. I hate these things. I've got these uh, morning glories growing around here. I really dislike them. They choke out everything. These morning glories they have a white flower. My mom thinks they're pretty, but I think they choke everything out and I'm tired of them. But whatever. Um, so that's what I got going on today. I know, 12 minute what I'm doing today video, but I assume you guys like it when I just walk around and talk. So there you go. Um, Peace. Uh, I will. See you guys later. Bye-bye.